How awesome is that? Let's look at the waterfront tower camera. Great story. Just beautiful, great story, a great day, oh. and some great temperatures right? compared to the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so great all around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so much better, Joyce and Greg. I, I hope you all are enjoying the 70s, the cooler sea breeze. Oh, yeah. I know it just was unbearable, right, with the humidity. It was I think it's what really did it for us. We're too past hot. it. Yeah, so let's put that in the history. Let's move forward. Let's get started with the shot uh, from our roof cam on top of the King 5 Studios looking to the north, kind of north, northwest. Uh, you can see some of those high thin clouds. A sunset, by the way, 813 with those clouds moving in. I think we're going to have a brilliant sunset tonight. Couple of clouds now moving over Payne Field. Remember Sunday, 100 degrees, all time record. Ouch. Yeah, thankfully the numbers continue to tumble a little bit as we go through the coming days. Gorgeous shot, summit view. Mount Rainier looks spectacular. Hey, by the way, have you heard of a black moon? We have a rare black moon tonight. So you know when we talk about a new moon. So a new moon is when we have the earth, the sun, and the moon all aligned and the, the side of the moon that's facing us is in complete darkness. It's great when you have a meteor shower because you don't have the moonlight to interfere with that. Well, a black moon is when you have a second new moon in one calendar month. Kind of like once in a blue moon when you have two full moons, but this is for the uh, new moon. So kind of cool, right, tonight? Uh, so current temperatures, 70s, a couple of 60s out there compared to 24 hours ago. Look at that, especially across the South Sound. We've got temperatures anywhere from 10 to almost 11 degrees cooler than it was this time yesterday. Hello, Seabreeze. Welcome back. Marine layer this morning. If you woke up early, you could see it. Welcome back again. We'll see that tomorrow. Now, we still have an excessive heat warning over a good portion of eastern Washington through 8 or 9 p.m. tonight, rather. Highs tomorrow will come down a little bit, but yeah, we still have some 90s, uh, typical for this time of year. In the meantime, we'll be in the 70s and only a couple of lower 80s, thanks to this high pressure starting to move over to the east. You can see a few lightning strikes over eastern Washington as that moisture continues to stream around that high pressure in a clockwise rotation here in the northern hemisphere. With those two storms off in the Pacific, that will help to break down that high pressure, move it over to the east, and we will cool two to five degrees tomorrow. Future cast, 8.30 tomorrow morning, a whole lot of gray to start the day, and then by the afternoon, plenty of sunshine, except along the coast, plants on some more in the way of cloud cover. By 10 p.m., the clouds thicken up, and look what happens Thursday morning. We'll have a couple of rain showers, and we'll get those showers again Thursday evening. I think by Friday, we'll see a little more in the way of measurable rain, and then we'll be done for the weekend. Tonight, plan on 50s and a couple of upper 60s for overnight lows. Highs tomorrow a couple of degrees cooler, very comfortable, very nice for August. Average for this time of year, by the way, is 76 for SeaTac. We'll get there on Thursday with some of those scattered showers in the morning and again in the evening, a little more rain on Friday. The weekend right now, even with the sea breeze still in place and the sunshine will manage some mid 70s out there. So a little bit of rain should help out. I know the grass is needing it, the flowers are needing it. It'll help a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, You're thanks. not kidding.